The following problem often causes confusion. However, it's a great problem in terms of an example uh, for a visual for polynomial expansion. So let's read it together. I'm going to show you a few ways of approaching the problem, uh, but we won't completely complete it because it is actually part of your assignment. So you've got two square sheets of cardboard used for making a book and they differ in area by 44 square inches. All that tells us is that we have two square sheets, one presumably bigger than the other, and they differ in area by 44 square inches. Just from that sentence you can deduce that if you take the bigger area minus the smaller area you should get 44 square inches. Now they tell us that this edge here is two inches longer, greater, than the edge of the smaller square. This would imply that if you called the smaller square edge x, you'd have x plus two on your other edge, straight from that second sentence. So now the question is to find the length of an edge of the smaller square. However, you could complete this algebraically, but you could also view it in a visual manner. Now on the side here, I'm just going to draw it out. Rather than writing it as an algebraic statement of this area minus this area equals 44, you could look at it visually. So let's draw a square approximately. So say that this, this is the larger square. Now, let's just lay the smaller square inside on top of that other sheet. And now we can see we've got two squares inside of each other. And I've just lined them up like this just for visuals. So if this is my x length, this is my 2 length, because 2 inches more, so x plus 2 is the total. So, if this is x, then this is x. So what's this area? Well, the area is x squared, because x times x is x squared. Now here we have two units, so I'm just going to draw this as if this is one unit and this is another unit. So you can see that I'm just extending these lines to measure, and this is also two because both sides of the square are the same. So you can actually see that you have this area here that's the difference between the small square and the big square. So this, uh, this dotted, these dotted lines are in that area. So I'm just going to make that green. So the green part is 44. Essentially, the green part is 44 inches squared. So if we look at this visually, let's continue with our investigation here. This is 1 by x, isn't it? So this is actually 1x. And so is this, and so is this bit, and this bit. So how many x components do we have? Well, we have four of them, right? We have four x's. And what else composes this 44 square inches? Well, we still have these bits. Well, how big are they? Well, they're one by one pieces, aren't they? So you have 4x plus 4 is equal to 44 is another thing to see. Now, so you could do, okay, well, this squared minus this squared is 44, or you could also just look at it visually like this and continue on that way. But I do want to point out, so that helps you with the problem, but I do want to point out that this square here is actually the large square 
we're taking x plus 2 times x plus 2. So that's actually x plus 2 squared. So I'd like you to see that when we take x plus 2 squared, we don't just say x squared plus 4, which a lot of people do, because that would just give us this square and the 4, but you'd be forgetting about these four x's. So you can't ever say that. You have to treat it as x plus 2 times x plus 2, which when you distribute this, you actually get x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. Now can you see that in this picture? You have the x square bit, you have the 2x and 2x, and you have the 4. So this visual here is essentially um, a picture of a polynomial expansion like this perfect square trinomial it's called. So you can use any of these facets of uh, ideas to continue the problem.